Do I need to? I don't know. I don't know, but I want to. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooke McQuaid and I am 26 years old from Perth, West Australia. Today I am bringing you a very exciting video. It is a pack with me video. By the time you're watching this, I will already be on holiday, so go check out my Instagram. It's just at Brooke McQuaid. But let's give you a little brief overview of what we're packing for. So I am currently filming this on Thursday the 5th of May. It is quarter past nine. And my partner and I are off on Saturday, so the 7th of May at like 11 p.m. I think our flight is. We are off to Europe for four weeks. I am so excited. Uh, it's absolutely terrified. If you're new to my channel, um, little brief update. I'm terrified of flying. So I'm very excited, but also very nervous. But I'm very, you know, it's both. Um... Yeah, so we're holidaying for four weeks, going to a few countries in Europe, heading to the Cannes Film Festival for three days, which is just, like, crazy, I know. Um, so I've got, like, a really fancy dress that I'm taking with me for that. But, yeah, we have to pack. Uh, I feel like this is going to be filmed across today and tomorrow just because of the sheer organisation that packing requires. But you can kind of see in the background, like, we have... A lot that we're dealing with um, but we'll jump straight into it and I'll just take you to my room because this outfit that I have on I'm thinking I might wear on the plane so I thought I'll show you it and I'll have to keep you updated if I did wear it or not but I'm trying it on for the video to see if I like how comfy it is etc but let's go show you that okay so this is one of the options for the plane outfit it's like this matching gray track pan and it says like sunflower babies and sunflower babies here in this rainbow font um it's from white fox from isabel clark collection i know i have a lot of those clothes it's very comfy and it is fleeced and like you know drawstring and everything so this is an option i have another option that i'll probably wear tomorrow when i'm packing but this is the first one let me show you what uh, we're dealing with. I've tried to lay out a few outfit ideas, but I have too many and it's a little chaotic, but I'll show you what I have tried to do. Okay, so this is the luggage bag that I'm taking. That's my partner's over there. And then I know it looks messy, but I think there's a system somewhere in here. So I've laid out like a few different outfit ideas and I've got like my carry-on over there. But we really need to sort this situation out, so that's what we're going to try and do. I feel like we should start with maybe like the things that are non-negotiables, things I know that I'm going to bring with me. So, I'm actually only going to bring two bikinis. It's going to be spring over in Europe, but the weather's quite comparable to autumn in Perth, so it's a little bit cool, but I'm going to take... Two bikinis, so I've got like this green one that's from White Fox with like a pink detailing and the little triangle cup and the pink one's actually also from White Fox so that's what this one looks like with the pink thing and the detailing so those are the bikinis I'm going to take in addition to like flying on Saturday though I actually have a photo shoot because I've just finished a 12 week fitness program and that is going to be at an Airbnb with like a pool. So I actually need to put these aside for the photo shoot. Because I need to sort out my outfits as we go. But those are going to be the two bikinis that I take with me. I have a problem with jackets at the moment where I want to bring... I think it's five or six. And that's probably too many. But I don't know. I'm stuck. So I have this blue blazer that is like oversized style classic blue and then I have that orange one in the background let me get it right. then I have that this really loud orange one that's like a linen blend one so I've got that I also have this like white denim jacket that is definitely coming with me because it's my favorite jacket it's from white fox I don't know if they still sell it though um, but it's just got all these like little details around it it goes with lots of things or maybe I'm trying to convince myself I don't know 
And then, I don't know, I just, I really want to bring this, but maybe, maybe if I have to make a decision, it'll have to go. But it's like this vintage leather jacket. It's actually my mum's from the 80s. It was, let me tell you, the brand Western Fit, actually, and made in Australia. It's like a classic 90s style. I wear it a lot and I get lots of photos in it, but I don't know. I really want to bring it and I feel like I, maybe I need a black one because everything else I've got is colourful. But that's the situation and then I, that's not even including like my raincoat that is from H&M. Thankfully this one's like a little bit light so at least we've got that going but this has to come with me. I've already planned a few outfits that I can wear with it because obviously it is bright orange and you know, you run the risk of being like, is there any outfit I can wear it with? But I've planned a few outfits. Um, it's spring over there and colours are in at the moment. So I'm like, let's bring them. Do I need two? I don't know. I don't know, but I want to. Okay, four pants. I think I've narrowed it down to five pants. I kind of want to bring a... S no, actually, I lied. I've got six pants. Um which might be a problem, but let me show you and we'll see what we can sort out. So I have like these corduroy ones, like these white corduroy ones. Are they spring? I don't know, we'll have to think. I have brown vegan leather pants that are from Cotton On and these are like a straight leg fit. I've already worn them a few times, but these are my favorite pants at the moment. So they're coming with me. I have a green pair of pants and straight leg jeans that are both at the tailors at the moment getting hemmed up and they're definitely coming with me, particularly the green ones. Specifically bought them for this trip. Um, and then I have like another pair of denim. It's just that kind of classic blue style of denim but it's got like a couple of rips. And then the last pair of pants is like a black business pant. Let me show you. Like the whole business style casual chic is really in. Usually it's in the tan colours but I don't have them so these are like actually my work pants. Um, so I think I'm gonna bring these as well. These are just from H&M but they're really nice especially if you're on the shorter side. I've practiced pairing these with a few things so I'm thinking in my head I have this paired with um, a, a black crop and like the blue blazer or this pair with a white crop and the orange blazer. I've also tried it on with the black leather jacket. So I do have a few options on there and I've also know what shoes that I'm gonna wear with it. So these are the shoes that I'd wear with it as well. So these shoes I know for sure are definitely coming. These are gonna be like my everyday wear. I've also got white sneakers that I'm gonna pack. And then the rest of shoes is a nightmare. So I'm thinking Maybe I should pack the jackets and the pants that I know for sure are coming and any that I'm umming and ahhing on, I'll leave out for the time being. So let me do that. pants three jackets so far but I did realize there's actually another jacket I know I think I have too many but I'll show you I have like this teddy Sherpa style jacket from cotton on let me show you like that's what it looks like it's a really good one to like go over the top of stuff I actually have it in pink as well and I would kill to bring the pink one because look at that that's beautiful but as much as I want to bring colour, and I am bringing colour, I do think it's probably smarter to bring a neutral piece of clothing since it will go for more things. So I'm tossing up like which one will make the cut. 
on one hand I already have like a neutral colored jacket on the other hand like this is heavy probably will go with less things and this is probably good like we're going to Switzerland so we're going to Grindelwald and we Grindelwald is like an alpine city to begin with and then we're going to first mountain um, to hike which is even further up and we're also going to the top of Europe I will mispronounce it if I try but it's Jungfrun I'll put the name here so you can have a look so it's gonna be cold so then this would be a really good layering piece over jumpers so I think I'm convincing myself to bring it so I might bring this as well I feel like I have a lot of things to be fair like this is a black jacket well it's actually kind of a jumper but it's black so maybe I don't need that maybe we'll maybe we'll put that in the if we have space pile tossing up between these jeans I really want to bring them it's just I was put on a restriction of how many pants I should pack and I uh, the two pants that are at the alteration place I much prefer so they're definitely coming I also had these pair of jeans that I wanted to bring to these are like my favorite one of my favorites from Kmart actually but look at that style up there like that's a beautiful detail they remind me very very much 90s fashion but do I need three pairs of jeans like I, pro I probably don't would I wear them absolutely but I want to buy stuff as well I think I'm just gonna bring one skirt I think and I thought maybe I'll bring this skirt because it'll go with a lot of the tops I'm packing to go with the brown leather pants already it's a nice skirt to begin with it's cool for cool weather but then if it's cold I could wear stockings underneath it as well make it warmer I'm just like I'm in two minds because I really like it but is this spring or is this autumn you know this is hard this is hard sorting through my crop tops and yes they're cropped and they don't take up much room but at what point do you think you have too many like what point because we have a brown crop top green crop top this is my favorite so this one is definitely coming also this will go with um this i'm not calling it a jacket because otherwise i go way over my jacket things we're calling it a shirt because technically listen here technically it is a shirt okay but it'll go nice underneath this these two together with straight leg jeans beautiful um then we have a white crop this one's like a really really crop bralette then we have a white crop but in a longer version a seamless version and then we have you guessed it a white bralette again I have another brown one this one is like a halter style though so that one's nice this is a favorite of mine I wear it quite a lot it's just like a little one I have another green one this has matching shorts as well but this little one from white fox I've got it in blue as well and then I have like this little purple polo kind of crop moment. That's what this looks like. And then I have, I know, I know, I keep saying and then I have, when will it stop? But then I've got a sports bra. So I'm either going to bring this Stax one or my Alice KD one. I'm just, I'm making up my mind. This one's adjustable, but this one I like the logo where it is better. I know, I know. I probably have too many white tops but they also go with everything and like I mean you can hear me trying to justify everything to you technically hear me out technically I can wear it as a bra because this one's adjustable so technically speaking this is a bra 
Speaking of bras, I've realised that I actually have another crop top because I have a black bralette, which is very, very similar to this that I'm guessing I probably left in my room. And it's also coming, okay? Don't come for me. I know I have too many. I know. But we're gonna... We're gonna figure it out. Some of the white ones not because I'm not gonna take them haha <laughs> you thought wrong um, because for the photo shoot on Saturday before I fly there's a group photo and the theme is denim and like a crop top like a white top so keeping them out there but now we're gonna go on to like full-size tops pretty much they're all oversized to be honest I feel like we're gonna have to like skip and try some stuff on just to make sure but my options Sunflower baby's tea, classic tea that I always like to wear. It's in like this eggshell colour. It's very comfy. Could sleep in it too if I wanted to, to be honest. So I think that one will be a definite yes. These two I need to make my decision which one. So both have matching shorts. So like these are from Cotton On. And they're like a crew neck I believe they're called. Crew neck waffle. So I have like this blue colour, or I have this brown colour, I think it's called Acorn this colour, um, and both come with the matching shorts. I feel like I can't take both, that would be silly. My partner told me the brown one looks better, I'm just a little concerned as to like how much brown stuff I'm packing because I've got quite a few neutral tones in there, which I love, but I, you know, it's spring, I want to be adventurous. I will probably end up going with the acorn even after saying all of that. Okay, so we've got those. Um, I think I'm going to bring this little button-up white top. I have a steam iron to pack, so these kind of things I can iron out. But it's just like a classic, it could be a beach cover-up, I can wear it with jeans, I could even wear it with my black pants. I think a white top do I need more white with all the crop tops? It's questionable, but even this will look nice under either of the blazers. And then this is where we're going to have to try it on because I have a vision in my head, but we'll see. This shirt I feel like has to come with me because it's a statement shirt. So this is my Ninja Turtle shirt that I got recently from H&M. It might be still in stock, so if you like it, go have a look. I believe it's from the Divided range. Yeah. From the divided range. I'm thinking like this would look nice with bike shorts and maybe my boots. Um, where are they? Like my boots and little bike shorts. It'll look nice with jeans as well, but you know, that's my vision. So I've hit a problem. These ones were like easy to do because they're all like squeezy tops, but I need to put my moisturizer in and it comes in like this circle top. So I've like tried to do it like this, but it's all gonna fall out. So I'm like, should I get 
like a spoon. Should I get a clean teaspoon and like spoon it in? Do you reckon that would work? I'm in a bit of like, I don't have a funnel, so maybe I should get a spoon and try that. That, like, I wouldn't recommend it. One, it just feels so wrong to put a spoon in moisturizer. Even though the spoon was completely clean, cleaner than my hands, that you put in moisturizer, but didn't really work. Um, my moisturizer doesn't come in like a travel size, and I want that specific moisturizer because my skin gets quite sensitive, particularly when I travel. So I think what I'm going to have to do is buy, like, the smaller tube of it that has the tube top so I can squeeze it in. But we got somewhere, so we're getting there. All right, it is the next day. Lighting is terrible, but we're going to roll with it. So you would have seen earlier, I cleaned my makeup brushes. So they're currently drying. I'm pretty sure I've organized what makeup I need to take. I just need to separate what to bring, what to pack into my carry-on and what to pack into my checked. Um, and then I've also like put my little liquids in you would have seen that I failed with the moisturizer I've ended up buying a travel moisturizer which is not the brand that I normally use but we will hope that it works um I'll give you a little bit of an update on the bag so let me show you how we're going okay so this is how we're going so I um, picked up my dry cleaner today so green pants are in there um, this dress is now dry. That was yesterday. So we've got pants over here and there's going to be one more pair of jeans to go in uh, that are over there for the photo shoot in the morning. I've put the puffer jacket in and I've taken out a blue blazer. I think it's going to be a little warmer than I first thought. Um, this dress I got dry clean. Let me show you because it's beautiful. So this dress is going to be the one that I'll wear to Moulin Rouge in Paris and maybe I'll wear this to Monaco, might wear it in Cannes. It's just like a cocktail style dress. So that's what that one looks like, stunning. So that's also in there. And then over here, packed my handbags. Inside that handbag's another handbag and some stuff. Put some shoes, um, umbrella, more shoes some liquids, a couple of accessories, and then we have a bit of my carry-on going on. I need to sort this out a little bit, but I've just chucked in like rats and face masks, a few things that I thought I might forget, so that's how we're going. Also, I got my nails done, so that's what they look like, if you can appreciate those. So, we're getting there. I'm going to chuck on a nice comfy jumper and get packing. My little tracksuit pant set that I wore yesterday is what I'm going to wear on the plane and it's currently in the dryer so I've washed that today to wear tomorrow so things are getting organised. products and I've like put them all on my hand. I've packed more than I wear. Why? I actually don't know. But I'm stuck on eyeshadows and I knew, I knew this would be the hardest one. I think I'm gonna add this little REM Beauty one to my checked baggage. It's just like this little like everyday but I can turn it into nightwear kind of palette. I could make a Cannes look out of it if um, my luggage was to get lost so I'll probably put that one in and then I'm tossing up between Tardy Lookbook Volume 1 which you can't even buy um which now I'm thinking about it 
given you can't actually buy this anymore, I don't know if it's worth risking it. You have to ignore my mirror. I don't know what happened. But like that's what this one looks like. So it's stunning. Like that would be great for a, a smoky moment for Khan specifically. But I think the smart idea, which it's gonna upset a few people, is to bring the Morphe Cross James Charles one. Is this my favourite palette? No. Is this my favourite person these days? Absolutely not. But you can't deny that this palette's going to have everything that I could possibly need because we have like a neutral story up the top and then we have colour if I want to delve into colour. Other thing is I've run out of highlighter and that's a highlighter shade there. So I think it makes the most sense to bring this one despite it not being my favourite. Like I have so many palettes and you would be the hardest thing. But this kind of has a mix of colours and neutral so I think this will make sense to pack in my check baggage but I still might pack my little Rem Beauty one just in case something goes wrong also like it's little so I could even put it in my handbag I might pack like one eyebrow brush just to go in there with it actually yeah I might do that now so I'm thinking that that's what we'll bring for makeup my makeup bag is looking quite full I ended up packing Red liner um, and a neutral liner. And then I, I I went a little bit crazy. Like I have these. I have the Maybelline, sorry, the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish and the Fenty Cream. Whoops. Like super similar colors. Then I have Velvet Teddy by Mac in my Carry On, but a mini version. And then I have this Laura Mercier mini like lip crayon in fresh which again is like again this movie kind of color um, to go with the red liner literally the only thing I've ever bought from Kylie Jenner is like these mini uh, lip products they were so expensive um, they were like the Mummager range so when Kris Jenner did the collab so I bought two red shades let me see so like I don't know, it's not going to show up very well, but that is like more of an orangey kind of terracotta red. And then this is your deep, deep red. So I think that we'll bring those to go for the red liner if I want a bold lip. But I don't know. It's like I even bought like nail files. I don't I don't file my nails, but now that I have acrylics on, I thought, I don't know. I thought maybe I'll need them. Same as like my jade roller. Do I actually use this that often? No, but I don't know. Maybe I need it. So I feel like I need to stop on the makeup department because I am getting carried away. So I'm going to continue packing. I'm actually going to put the stuff away around me that I've decided to not take with me so that I don't get tempted at all. But I need to get a wriggle on. Dress for cons. I think I'm gonna keep the label on even though oh maybe I should cut it off. Yeah, I'll cut it off. But yeah, this is the dress in her full glory. You can't even tell what it looks like off, but it's stunning. So I'm gonna finally put it in its carry-on. I've been waiting because I wanna minimize the wrinkles, but my worst nightmare will be if I forget to pack it tomorrow. So packing that, and I think we're almost there, so I'll Definitely show you how we've gone because I also need to edit this video tonight and it is already 10.30 at night. So <laughs> let me pack this. Okay, my hand luggage is packed and I've just weighed it. We're at 6.1 um, kilos. I still need to put my laptop in so that might add another kilo. Um, my camera I'm going to try and fit in here but I will put the lens that's currently on it in here. So yeah, I'm probably 
heading just on seven, which is what it's allowed to be, but I'm sure I can rearrange some stuff. So, masks, um, a few cables, there's like iPhone charger, um, SD cord, uh, LED light charger, and, and I believe it's my headphone charger. Can't shoes, can't stress, just a strapless bra, I don't know, just in case. Um, a book, because I don't want to put it in my handbag since I need to fit the camera. And then here we have my file that has all my like travel documents in that. That's where like my COVID certificate is, so very important. I have a jumper, which if I had to move luggage across, I could move that into my other one. Um, my little REM Beauty eyeshadow palette. Uh, I've got some jewelry here, wet wipes, toothbrush, handbag for cans that is also stacked with like underwear and socks, some rat tests, um, a letter from the doctor. So it's just a few minute of my beauty products, but the rest are in checked. Um, some um, deodorant roll on, and I've got like a spray one in checked. Underneath that I have medication actually I've already packed it I'll just have to take it out for the morning but I thought it's better to pack it um asthma puffers hairbrush and then I just packed a few spare of those so that's done which is good and then I'll just sip up my uh, I'll go through my list and then we'll hopefully sip this up um actually I won't sip this up because there's a few items that I'm wearing to the photo shoot but we're pretty good actually Okay, so we've just repacked this situation a bit better. Um, so, we've got a steam iron in its thing, the tan and the tan remover here. Uh, obviously, pads, tampons, there's hairspray. My backpack, shoes. Um, this isn't makeup, this is like shower gel. Um... What else is in there? Moisturiser, I think, and a few other things. can't remember right now. And then that one's makeup. I actually will need to take that one back out in the morning. I wash my makeup brushes, and they're currently drying. So, going to take that out and put the makeup brushes in. And then over here, we have a um, tripod for my phone. Is it a bit excessive? Maybe, but we love it anyway. And then handbag, a few bras just stuffed in there, hair straightener, another pair of shoes with some stuff stuffed in there, and some socks. And then under here, most important, is my lead light. Um, I didn't actually show you this from, um, it was in my Amazon haul and I've now charged it, can confirm that it's amazing. So like that is looking a lot better. And then over here, um, to be honest, I think the packing cubes take up room. I could make a last minute decision and remove them, but I do think it's good to keep me grounded. Uh, so we've got dresses. I took out one. So I've got uh, a dress there as well. So there's like four everyday dresses and then that dress is like a special cocktail one. A couple of skirts. I actually have three skirts now because I feel like the temperature is actually a bit warmer than I expected. few tops, a few shorts. Um, a like oversized top. I'm gonna wear another oversized top on the plane. That's like a little um, checkered jacket, blazer, jacket. I took out the blue blazer and I'm gonna wear the cream one over the top. I mean if I have a lot of room I'll pack it again. And then we have pants. I've ended up taking out my corduroy pants, putting in a ripped pair of jeans. And then in here will be um, that pair of jeans that's in the pile over there. We'll go here in the morning as will the crop tops and that red suit. I have a few things to pack tomorrow, but we don't fly until 11 p.m. However, I'm gonna be out a lot of the daytime for a photo shoot. I know everything is crazy over here, but I think that and rounds up today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know that it was very, very chatty, perhaps a little chaotic, but I feel like that's every pack with me. And that is what it feels like before you go on a holiday. I'm so excited. Very anxious, but I'm I'm so excited. I can't believe that we leave tomorrow. In 24 hours, I'll be on the plane because it is currently 11 p.m. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to follow me over on Instagram because by the time you're watching this, 
I'll have been away for probably about a week or a week and a half by now, so definitely go check me out on there to see what I've been getting up to. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up, it really does help. Comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!